did you read about the PS5 Pro leak? No, but you're going to tell me about it. I'm going to tell you about it. So basically, there's a guy who always seems to get the inside scoop on PlayStation hardware. Like, he's got a track record. And he's like, here, I got all the specs for PS5. So people pretty much believe, like, that's what it's going to be. So to the point where Digital Foundry did an analysis of the hardware to see, hey, what's the difference? What's the real world difference of a PS5 Pro versus a regular PlayStation 5? And basically what they said is, if you're expecting these 4K games that run in 30 frames per second, they're now going to run in 60 frames per second per perfectly. Don't expect that. Forget it. Um, so they said that it's a better, it's a bigger increase than PS4 to PS4 Pro. But it's probably, which, you know, wasn't much of an increase, right? Do you remember that? Like, yeah, was it, it was pretty, it was pretty minimal. It was pretty minimal. So this will, they, they're thinking it's going to be bigger than that, but like, keep your expectations, you know, in check, basically, or, or you're, you know, realistic. So that's that. So, I, I so saw, it sounds like now you might as well just buy a PS5 now. Maybe, but maybe it'll look better. It could look better. It could come in black too and be a square or a rectangle. Have you heard about this Apex Legends uh, hack that happened during a tournament? Did you watch the video? I saw, I saw the clip. It's crazy. It's crazy. The guy's just like playing and he's like, wait a minute, I can see everybody. And like through walls, you know, through walls, you can see all the characters and, you, and you're watching it. And he's like, and I, you know, auto aim is on. And he's like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Like, you know, he's worried he's going to fucking get banned from this shit. Anyway, it's pretty embarrassing. They should probably not. They should probably fix that. Thing. Yeah, they should probably fix their game if they're going to have, you know, big tournaments where people yeah, for have money. money on the Yeah, for money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was crazy. You could see everything. Um, so it was kind of cool because if you never saw what it looked like, to, those hacking tools look like, that was... I yeah. yeah, I am not familiar with hacking tools. I yeah. don't use them. So I now I was like, oh, that's that's what it looks like. That's <laughs> what it looks Now I know. <laughs> that would be helpful to be able to see everybody through mm -hmm. walls and to aim automatically. <laughs> I would um, be so much better at this game if it did it for me. I could be in this <laughs> tournament. Yeah. Uh, did you see that? I just read this today that Overwatch 2 is at the point now where they've unlocked all the heroes. Remember they put, when they Overwatch went free to play, or rather Overwatch 2 went free to play, they started like charging for the new heroes. You know, they were a lot, you know, and certain heroes were locked behind paywall. Not everything's open. I feel like that's not, you don't do that when the game is make, is like doing great. <laughs> right like that's not a sign when people of, are buying something you don't start giving it away for free that, i mean i'm not like a fucking expert but i feel are you sure you're not because that's something an expert would say <laughs> i feel like that's <laughs> not the way you go that's yeah i was thinking this thing. i this is the first thing i've seen about overwatch 2 since they announced overwatch 2 so they fucked that up so bad yeah but that, like that game hit hard when it came out. It was hot and fast, and it was they had Lego sets and toys, and it like the whole deal, the whole nine. And then it just kind of went to shit. It's hard to keep it fresh, you know. Mm -hmm. You couldn't I, figure out how to do it. I know. I was. I saw some stat. It was some crazy stat about how many people are still playing games that are over five years old, and and how it's affecting the industry. Obviously, I, let's see if I. Oh, can you're talking. You're looking at the, the GDC presentation. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking at those slides. Yeah, it those was, slides are crazy. It made you think. It made you understand. It, we we literally had talked about yeah, this. We, on, we talked about this just like last episode. Yeah, of, of like yep. how, why you know why make a hundred fifty million dollar game when uh, you know people are still playing Fortnite? How are you gonna get those people to play? Like it was crazy. It, yeah. It, it, mm -hmm. I forgot who was tweeting it out. Oh, Arthur. Uh, Arthur. Arthur Geis Arthur was, was tweeting it out, and I, yeah. I'm like. uh yeah, so that's it. Uh, live service, yeah, because new live service games can't find an audience. But games that are three to five years old, you know, they have. And in 2021, it was 34 percent of all games, and that were game played. Now it's it's down to 16 percent, but that's still a high percentage. And when but they you, say games are five years old, we're talking about Fortnite, Minecraft, Roblox. Like, right? Well, right how many games are we talking about? Fortnite's player base, you know, people playing Fortnite, it 
I, I'm trying to read this, how this makes sense. Oh, percentage of growth by month in October, November, November of last year, Fortnite's player base grew 60% in last November when they released all that stuff. And then when the Lego stuff came out, it went up another 16%. So they just keep stealing. They're just every, keep all stealing. Gamers. Ro- when ahead. Roblox long, launched on the PlayStation in October of last year, Roblox went up, player base went up 54%. So you have all these, yeah, it's. And and I'm sure like, did you see, mobile games must be stealing time too. Like, mm-hmm. did you see this thing about Monopoly Go? You know, there's a, there's a mobile uh-huh. game. I saw that Monopoly Go thing. Yeah, that's crazy. About how much money they spent on advertising. More than Spider-Man 2? It was, it was, a bill, it was half a billion mm-hmm. dollars. A lot. That's a lot of money. A lot. Monopoly Go. So you know, they're stealing time. But aren't aren't they? They're making a ton of money though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just talking about like now. Game. Not only are these games, you know, your 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 long lost single player AAA game competing with games like Fortnite that have been around for a while. Now you're also competing with mobile games that are spending a half a billion dollars on advertising and customer acquisition. Like and probably significantly less in development. It's a mobile game. I mean, but the, again, the pulling the time away, pulling the time away from the gamers yep. to spend on, on other games. I think that's probably, I mean, I'm no expert. I think that's probably why you're better off focusing on that single player diversion type of game. You're not going to pull someone away from Fortnite. Maybe you will. It's possible I'm for not a one game. Possible. You're saying for like a one shot game, not for like a uh, yeah. Live you could you have a, live probably have a game. better shot of pulling someone away from Fortnite for a game like Prince of Persia that just came out, which is excellent. Maybe you know than you would with uh, whatever Suicide Squad live service, whatever they were trying to do there. Big ass so, game. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, well, maybe, maybe Rise of Ronin is what makes GP bot. That's this week, right? Yeah, Rise of Ronin's coming out this week. Isn't that some? Isn't that a Team Ninja like difficult game that I? It's a Team Ninja game. It's gonna be hard, a, though, right? I don't know. There's there's settings on these games now. Okay, <laughs> right. Okay. I, I I believe there'll be a setting on this. I game. haven't seen what it looks like actually. So is it look maybe crazy? check that out? It's a PlayStation Five exclusive. I it's saw been that in development for nine years. <laughs> That's that's a very long time, actually. Great, I'll check that out. Um, what's it called? Rise, Rise of, of Ronin. The Ronin. Yep. All right, I'll, I'll check that out later. I have a gaming news quiz. Maybe you know the answer. Maybe you don't. You ready? Okay, hit me up. Are yep. you ready? Mm-hmm. What game announced that they have co- Ghostbusters content? This Destiny. Week? Destiny yeah. Two. Very good. Mm-hmm. I got the emails. For, I get the emails. It seems very weird to me. Mm-hmm. It didn't seem like the greatest fit. It's strange. I mean, they already have had Ghostbusters in Fortnite. Maybe I'm sure when that movie comes out, they'll just bring that back. They didn't want to pay for the Fortnite tie-in this time, I guess. Mm-hmm. Too expensive, probably. They have more like. Uh, I mean, they've been in Destiny. A, Ghostbusters has been in just about every one of these games. Yeah, they. they As going to say, they're they're no fools. They know where they're. Their bread is buttered. I'm surprised they haven't done anything. Huh? <laughs> is it buttered in Destiny? Destiny was probably cheap. Uh, exactly. That's what I'm saying. They didn't want to spend the money on Fortnite. Uh, well, Fortnite, they already spent the money. They just have to re-release what already exists. Okay. It probably costs more and, money. Yeah. And they already have the Rocket League thing. If anything, they should bring the, uh, uh, the Ecto into... Uh, I got it. Yeah. Well, I'm saying they should it. bring that into Fortnite. I got the Rocket... I got the Ecto one, and I got the... Uh, Night ride, I got Kit. Yeah. What else when do you they need? Start, and the 18 van. That's what I got. Nice. I have the Fortnite Battle Bus in uh, Rocket League. But, uh, <laughs> this is the this current Rocket League season pass is the first season pass that has crossover stuff in it. So the two cars you unlock in the season pass, you also get in Fortnite. Nice. So that's like, mm-hmm. All right. That was good. I was impressed that you knew that. Congratulations on getting our first gaming news quiz answer right very quickly. I'll have to up the difficulty next time. I'm a, I'm a pro. 